Right, I bought this off of Craigslist. Um, it's kind of rare to find something like this around here. Gave the guy 40 bucks for it. It's an old Heath Kit laboratory oscilloscope. It's a model 1012. I guess it belonged to an old ham. It was really dirty. So I just took all the knobs off and I just cleaned it really, really well. It has all the knobs. Um, this one horizontal position knob is froze. It won't turn at all so I can't move the, the beam back and forth horizontally. Um, it's got, kind of got a weird screen here. It doesn't have a grid. It's just got three numbers for the different vertical gain settings. And it's got a frequency vernier, which is uh, kind of weird. So I don't know. I guess it'd be hard to tell the frequency of a signal if, if you're using this. Um, another interesting thing, it's got the vertical input. But over here it also has a horizontal input. So you could switch from the internal horizontal frequency selector or to an external one. And so I'm going to open it up and see what's inside it. A little dust. This is kind of neat because you can't really see. I've only really looked at TV picture tubes where they deflect the beam with a you know magnetic field. This one actually has plates in there. It's our electrostatic deflection. I see nine tubes. And there's the circuit board in the back. I'll look underneath it. Transformer looks nice. It looks nice and clean under here. I've ran this a little bit, but this capacitor here is oozing something. So is this one. I maybe ran it half an hour, maybe. So there's actually not much to it. I guess really all you need is a horizontal variable oscillator sweep horizontal and then a vertical amplifier to you know for the input maybe some other things power supply there's a power resistor Put it back together and then uh, I'll hook it up to the function generator. What I have here is I have the horizontal input going over to the old WR50B RF generator. And then I got the uh, vertical going over to this function generator. It's kind of cool to play around with the pattern. Get real close. So, right now the vertical's uh, at a lower frequency than horizontal. And I'm increasing the vertical. I'm going to make some cool patterns. I think that means that uh, it's either four or two times the frequency. One of them's higher than the other. That's twice the frequency. The scope's got a nice bright light on light, but you can definitely smell that it's on. 
dust and hot tubes. Yeah, they're there at the same frequency. And if you increased it, it would just repeat the pattern, but, you know, in the horizontal plane or the vertical, they'll just flip. You see, if I can stop it. I wonder if I put a, this is both sine waves, I'm going to put a triangle wave, see what happens. On the vertical, that's pretty cool. Square wave. Let me go get to one of those other multiples. It's a triangle, it's a square. Let me go up a little bit more. So that's a sign. Triangle, square, go up a little higher. So they're both sine waves. It's a triangle wave, square. Hmm. Well, anyway, it's cool to play with, and the scope seems to be working pretty good, except for the horizontal position stuck, so I can't change that right now. I'm going to try it one more time. Sign, triangle, square. Anyway.